what's good everybody welcome 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 back to my channel for the ones that are new welcome to nelly's tarot and more like share and subscribe so all your friends can find out what is good for the new moon on scorpio reading 2020 how you all doing i hope everybody's doing well don't mind me this is what you see when 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 i wake up well you know We know clothes, but I ain't gonna do that. <laughs> Let's start with your reading. So, um, new moon in Scorpio. I have the moonology deck, but before I read each sign, I'm gonna read the card that it's um the card for the occasion new moon in scorpio and it's telling you to work through your fears work through your fears i got the guidebook here okay this card suggests a rebirth think of a situation as the phoenix that is rising from the ashes as the birth death rebirth paradigm so um i was talking about this with pisces because i don't know which reading for pisces it was talking about that you know it's, it's not the same person like it used to be before but this is a collective message with this card and um it's talking about letting go of the old you and why because it doesn't serve you for your highest good i'm not i'm not saying oh you know let me let go of the old me and quit this job this and that if you have to do it you have to do it but you know i'm just saying maybe all habits that doesn't serve you um it's 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 an energy that you want to take advantage of because maybe sometimes in the regular you will not have um, this motivation for you to make changes in your life, good changes that you need to make in your life. And sometimes we're so caught up in our lifestyle, our responsibilities that, you know, we don't sit down and think about things that we have to change, things that we have to take care of as to us ourselves to um self-care so that's scorpio and that's what scorpio energy is all about whatever you've been through there is a new start ahead it might be a little dark but it will be deep and transforming this card also suggests that if you know you're magical, then it's time to work your magic. Do you hear that? I told everybody, you know, everybody's powerful, but you know, everybody has their different gifts. And I'm going to do a video some other time about that. I'm not going to have time for that today, but you know, it can also herald the start of a sexier time <laughs> if you've been experiencing something of a truth and emotional intimacy is also on the menu scorpio is the sign that likes to go deep into body mind and spirit so when this guy comes up there is nothing superficial about coming your way do you hear that and this is today Okay, my loves attuned to the moon have some sexy time did you hear that it says it right here look it says it right here <laughs> it's funny because i say it like <laughs> anyways additional meanings for this card time to let go of a grudge you're holding Nelimar, did you listen to that? I'm not holding any grudges, but you know, if you did me wrong, I'm not gonna hold grudges. I'm just gonna, you know, 
just look at you for what you are that's all that's all okay i'm not gonna say it. move on from jealousy that's another thing i'm not saying you know um you being hating on stuff i mean on people i'm over here and you over there i you know this a everybody that watches me is is not is their own individual you know so it says move on from jealousy stop being obsessive could it be you're being paranoid and make an investment these are additional meanings for this card the teaching scorpio is the sign of death and rebirth magic and shamans its energy is its energy is a little bit dark occult even scary not all of us like to face the shadow but scorpio demands it in fact it's through working through your dark side that you can get to the light and the moon in scorpio in the new moon in scorpio suggests you suggests you need to do that now let me you know not all of us like to face the shadow but scorpio demands it in fact through working through your dark side that you can get to the light that's how you can get to the light and the new moon in scorpio suggests you to do that to do that now now like you know pronto i like it Libra, what is good with you? On new moon in Scorpio 2020. Libra, what is good with you? On new moon in Scorpio 2020. Libra, you have a new no, new moon, just new moon. It doesn't say new moon in, in, in any sign. And it's talking about a new start. It's coming. I love it. I love it. Then you have a time for healing. A balsamic moon with a time for healing. And last but not least, new moon in Cancer with you and your loved ones are safe. Libra, I think you're going to love this card more than the other ones. But you know, if you had any safety concerns in your family in any type of way, it's telling you not to worry about it because they are safe. And it's in a time for healing and a new star is coming all this is is i love it i love it libra i love it i hope everything is well with everybody um, now let's start let's start look at me <laughs> is that i you know I record one part first and then I'm recording the other one. But I'm adding the first part from, you know, the video. Now let's go with Scorpio. Scorpio, your new moon today is on the sign. Yeah. Apologize. Scorpio, you have new moon eclipse. We expect powerful change. I love it. I love it. Expect a powerful change. Look at the image. It looks, you know, it has 
all the light colors, you know? I noticed one time that I sent good vibes with the, um, with the sage. I remember I put it like that and I could see a purple light. I was like, wow, you know? And the energy from that purple light, it's amazing. It's amazing. You just look at it and, and you know, I'll see if I can, you know, do a sage session. You know, maybe once a week. Or maybe, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Whenever I will feel like it. I don't want to have you waiting and then, you know. It's not that I'm a legend for that. It's that, you know, I'm, I get busy and, you know, I don't make my own sage. I would like to learn to make my own sage. But I don't make my own sage still. So, my, <laughs> my inventory is limited. With <laughs> my supplies with sage are limited, you know. Maybe when I'm going to sage the house, I'll do it. You know? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Sagittarius, what is good with you? On new moon in Scorpio 2020. Sagittarius, what is good with you? On new moon in Scorpio 2020. Sagittarius, you must need this message. What is good with you? Woo! I gotta get up for this one. I don't want you to see my butt. Sorry about that. Um, Sagi, you got three cards. The first one is New Moon in Leo with confidence is your key to success. Listen, I don't know any Sagi that is not confident. I do not know any Saji whatsoever. Then you have Waxing Moon with the energy is gaining momentum. Oh, I don't tell me I'm going to start with Ronnie Nose. It's the season. And last but not least, Cardinal Moon with Be Bold and Make the First Move. Ooh! Well... Sagis are legendary for that. You know, you don't have to tell them to make the first move. They they are ready, they are ready planning on how to make it, you know? Sometimes they don't even have to plan. They just, you know, gotta be their own their own self, their own amazing self, you know, and that's gonna be enough. That's what I say. Now let's go with Capricorn. Wait a minute. I almost Then they were gonna be on reverse. I am sorry. <laughs> Can I have them on reverse like that? Capricorn, what is good with you? On new moon in Scorpio 2020. Capricorn. It's funny, Capricorn is texting me right now. My kid's father is going to pick up the kids next week. Capricorn, what is good with you? On your new moon in Scorpio reading 2020, you must need, really need this message. Copy, copy. What is good with you? You know, so chef, let me take a sip of my coffee. Mm. 
heat it up. It's it's getting cold in New England already. Mm-hmm. Ay. Capricorn. You have the super moon card with the message emotions are running high. What type of emotions are running high? I'm over here and you're over there. <laughs> Now, let's go with Aquarius. Aquarius, what is good with you? On the new moon, on Scorpio 2020. I'm laughing because you know how it, how it says that it's good to have sexy time. <laughs> Well, for the ones that you know, you guys have somebody to do it with. You're going to see the stars. <laughs> Ooh -wee. It's getting cold, you know. Aquarius, what is good with you? On the new moon in Scorpio 2020. Aquarius, what is good with you? Under the new moon on Scorpio 2020. Yes. Um, yes. Um, Aquarius, you have fixed moon. We hold your vision. And last but not least, new moon in Gemini. We communication is key. Communication is key. There you have it, Aquarius. Now let's go with Pisces. My fellow Pisces, what is good with you? Under the new, under the new moon. I was gonna say new full moon. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> Unless it's an eclipse, you know. It becomes a new moon until it's a full moon. Dun, dun. <laughs> Piscean. What is good with you? Under the new moon on Scorpio 2020. I see it. What is good with all my sharks? Some of you are piranhas too. <laughs> and some of you are that pretty dory fish. And a clownfish, whatever you want. Whatever is your prerogative. I see it. What? <laughs> Piscean, you have waxing moon with what do you need to release? What do you need to release? Is it a ex? Is it a habit? Is it a job? Is it, I don't know. I'm here and you're over there. I know, I know what to release and it's definitely not an ex. That was already released a long time ago. Then you have, last but not least, new moon in Libra with a new romantic cycle begins. Are you holding on a fuckboy that is never going to deliver? And, you know, a new romantic cycle begins. Ooh, Pisces. Pisces. <laughs> 
let me stop let me stop it looks great but you gotta release something what is it that you need to release what is it you know stay still go to a quiet place and meditate and ask that question to God, the angels, our, our angels, spirit guides, Holy Spirit, and your ancestors. And you will get that answer. I'm not lying to you. Collective, what is good with you? Under the new moon on Scorpio 2020. I'm curious because I'm not really, I'm not talking to anybody, you know, in my case. I mean, it doesn't have to, you know, resonate with me. I'm not the only Pisces in the whole wide world. Mind you, you too. Piscean, what is good with you? On the... No Pisces. Look at me. Look at me. I'm sorry, Pisces gang. <laughs> Collective gang. Collective. What is good with you? Under the new moon on Scorpio 2020. Collective, somebody, somebody needs to definitely listen to this message. Jim and I got that card. And I don't remember who got that card, but let's get more. Let's get more because this is a collective message. I don't. Hopefully, we get cards that nobody got. And if it did, it did. Que se joa. <laughs> like, we'll read it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Is that I gotta get ready. I gotta go. Things that I didn't finish yesterday, I gotta finish them today. Because during the week, I'm not going to have time. I'm not going to have time. I got to get that turkey before we don't have turkey. So I know somebody that works at the, uh, at the supermarket and told me that yesterday the organic turkeys were going to be there. <laughs> So I was like, you're organic. You're an organic. Yeah. You know, do your research. Do your research if you're watching. Well, your sign is in the other video, so you're probably not watching this video. I like this card. I do. I do. Let's get more. Let's get more. But I, I love it. Oh, yes, I think all these cards are perfect. Collective, your first one is full moon in Sagittarius. We look at the bigger picture. Then you have full. New moon in Virgo with a time to give rather than take. Then you have a personal issue. Full moon in Cancer with a personal issue reaches resolution. Oh, yes, baby. I love it. I love it. And last but not least, third quarter moon with adjustments are required 
This is all, folks. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you very much for stopping by. Like, share, and subscribe so all your friends can find out what is good on the new moon in Scorpio 2020. Take care, my loves. I hope you had an awesome weekend. Don't forget to keep taking care of yourself because COVID-19 is still in full effect. My town is been in cold red for over six weeks and we are in, in that lockdown. People call it stupid. I call it stupid too because I don't like it, you know. is is preventing me from making, you know, the big bucks I wanted to make, you know. Like, you know, I wanted to be in Puerto Rico for Christmas and I'm not going to be able to. But, you know... I'll go to Puerto Rico some other time. I will. I think it's not time for me to go to Puerto Rico because it's still broken in pieces all over the place since 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 Hurricane Maria. Okay, and you know it's a shame since Hurricane Maria, and on top of Hurricane Maria, you know debris. There is the debris from the um, earthquakes. So, I'm not even going to start talking about the government in Puerto Rico and what are they doing with the, mon with the funds that United States, the federal funds that United States sent to the island. But I don't think I'm ready to see my hometown like that. God bless you, my loves. Thank you for coming. Thank you for stopping by. I hope you have a nice, awesome new moon in Scorpio. See you next time. Bye.